what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video so in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to defeat the monsters of legend so this is the second to last battle that you can actually do in the shinra combat simulator and it's actually pretty tough so if you guys are going for the last secret boss that boss being pride and joy you're definitely going to have to clear this of course and it can be like i said quite difficult all right so first and foremost let's talk about the characters that you're going to choose the first one is going to be cloud second is going to be Aerith, and then third is going to be bear it now as far as weapons armor and accessories go for each character for cloud you're going to be using the hard edge force bracelet and then protective boots now of course you guys can swap in revival earrings in any of the accessories if you want but with three revival materials being used on each character you should be fine for Aerith, we have the mithril rod the chain bangle and the healing carcinet and then for barrett we have the ekg cannon the geometric bracelet and the champion belt all right so let's talk about the material so first and foremost on cloud you're going to want to have subversion materia with warding right this is going to be very important because when you fight the tone berry you want to make sure that you're not instantly killed from his knife attack and then of course you have the reduced debuff duration by 25 percent next we're going to have revival material so revival material you're going to want to make sure that you have this on every single character so that's going to be cloud Aerith, and barrett if you don't have three revivals you can go ahead and go back to the vending machine which is right before the shinra combat simulator in chapter 17 and buy a couple of these and then equip them again this is going to be very important for the battle so make sure that you have one on each character next we have have barrier material so this is going to be very important when fighting the behemoth keep it up at 100% of the time on cloud and you should reduce a ton of damage that the behemoth will try to do next we have fire material with elemental on armor so you're going to be fighting the bomb twice and it's very important that you lead this fight with cloud so you definitely need to make sure that you're immune to any fire attacks next we have healing material you're going to want to make sure that you have this on all three characters as well just like revival and then lastly on cloud we have mp up just making sure that we increase the maximum amount of mp that cloud has okay so Aerith, we have ice with mp absorption material so this works very well with the ton berry because as you know the ton berry is almost immune to everything but if you use blizzaga on it it will actually knock it up in air and then give you some time to get off a heal or you know do some additional damage with cloud so this is why we have this on there and then of course if you're casting this with Aerith, let's say on battle number two you want to gain some of that mp back before you actually fight the behemoth next we have mp up revival materia magic up and then down here we have healing materia and magnify so this is going to be again very important because Aerith is going to be our main healer and we want to make sure that the heals go to every single member you have to make sure that this is on there because there's going to be fights where you need to heal all three of you guys and if one of you goes down it could actually turn for the worse and cause you to wipe next we have the time materia this is going to be important as well because we're going to want to be casting haste on cloud in a few of the battles so that way we can increase the dps that he does and then we have first strike materia on Aerith as well this is going to be important because as we get into these battles you want to make sure that you have an atp gauge bar full so that way she can cast haste on cloud and get that increased dps right from the get-go okay so barrett is more of a support character but on him we have healing materia that's absolutely important because even though you're going to be using Aerith and cloud mostly you want to make sure that if need be barrett can heal as well next we have hp up because even though barrett has a ton of hp already we want to increase that as much as possible next we have ice materia atb stagger materia revival materia of course again making sure that you have revival materia on all three of them then we have binding materia so this allows you to use sleep silence and berserk berserk is going to be the main one that you're casting when you're fighting the behemoth so chakra material you can actually put whatever you want in here whatever makes more sense for you this is just something that i had to fill in so i was like why not put some chakra material in there and then lastly we have mp up material so as far as the fights go all of the fights are pretty straightforward except for the behemoth i think this is the one that i died the most on and once you actually get used to it and you figure out what to use and what not to use it's actually not that hard so the first fight we're going to be using cloud mainly to deal physical damage to the bomb and then you're going to be using focus thrust to stagger quickly so make sure that when your atb gauge bar is full with cloud you're using focus thrust because this is going to cause the stagger bar to increase the most and then once you get the bomb staggered it's pretty easy to defeat from there okay so for the second fight you're going to be switching between characters quite a bit you might even have some that die but of course we have revival on all three characters so that won't be much of a problem immediately when you start the fight you need to use Aerith to cast 
fast slow Anton Berry just so that way that gets you a little bit more time to get some of those physical damage or physical attacks off with Cloud and also reduces you know the rate that he's going to be casting spells or trying to do that knife attack on you as well so try to keep slow up during the battle and this should help as well next you're going to be using Cloud to do close range physical damage so Cloud's going to be your main person unless he dies right if he dies then you need to switch to somebody and revive Cloud immediately you don't want to keep fighting or try to get it because the tone berry will go from this little cute thing in the middle of the map and the next thing you know two of your people are dead but with that being said cloud is immune to the instant death because we have that materia equipped so don't worry too much about the knife attacks and if you haven't noticed yet when you're fighting Ton Berry, if you're able to dodge a knife attack it will actually cause it to be pressured and then from pressured you can use focus thrust to increase it and hopefully get it staggered. Okay so next what I notice is if everyone's health is full the fight is going well and you have some ATP gauge bars to expend you can definitely use Blizzaga on Ton Berry and then follow up with focus thrust from Cloud. So if you use Blizzaga on Ton Berry you'll notice that it will actually knock it up into the air and then it'll fall right it'll get back up of course it won't be staggered or pressured but that does give you some time to get like a heal off or maybe if you want to use focus thrust to try to increase the stagger bar okay so for the third fight and probably the the hardest in my opinion you're going to want to cast haste immediately on cloud from Aerith. Next, you're going to be using triple slash on the lower body. So if you look at the behemoth, you'll notice that it has horns, upper body, and lower body. You immediately want to go for the lower body. This is going to knock the legs out, which is going to cause it to basically be like a magic cart from Pokemon and flop around on the floor, allowing you to attack its upper body. Now again, triple slash is going to be your go-to move, especially when you have haste cast as a buff. So make sure that you attack that lower body with triple slash until that's done. Now you'll notice that the behemoth, of course, will be aggroed on cloud for most of the fight you need to make sure that you're not in front of the behemoth and you actually try to run around to the back it's not too hard actually just so just make sure you stay on the back side of the behemoth cast triple slash and you should be good okay so i don't believe i mentioned this but the behemoth is immune to magic as long as its horns are not broken so this fight is really going to be a physical fight to where you're going to be doing lots of heals lots of physical damage focusing on the lower body and then the upper body like we said so barrett's role is pretty important you want to make sure that you're casting focus shot on the lower body and then barrett's also going to be kind of like a secondary healer he's going to be able to heal and do revival while cloud is going to do most of the damage on the body parts and then of course with that being said you're going to be healing with every character in this fight so what i mean by this is don't wait until Aerith has an atb gauge bar full to cast the heal off even though she has magnify if you see that one character's health is low and you see that another character with full health actually has an atb gauge bar full cast heal on that person so just make sure that you're keeping track of who can heal who during this fight okay so as i mentioned before once you get the lower body broken you're going to be attacking the upper body immediately one thing that I have to warn is that you want to watch out for body slams. If you find yourself in a corner, you need to go ahead and guard the body slams because they will knock you back. Now, if you actually guard the body slams, you can follow up with some more attacks, right? But you just need to be aware of that because let's say your entire group is close to the behemoth and he does some body slams. You could potentially have two characters wipe out. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about breaking the horns, right? This is going to be kind of a difficult task just because of where the horns are placed on its head meaning that you need to just go for the lower body and the upper body you'll probably won't stagger the behemoth until very close to the end so don't worry about that as well just go through the flow of the mechanics and you should be fine okay so for the fourth fight you're going to be doing the tonberry and then the bomb so what i recommend is immediately casting slow on the tonberry with Aerith and then keep this going you want to make sure that throughout the entire fight you're casting slow on that tonberry once you do that you need to switch over to cloud and you need to fight the bomb and separate the bomb from tonberry now being that cloud has immunity to fire attacks it's going to be very easy to just do one-on-one -on -one with the bomb and cloud do your focus thrust so that way you can increase the stagger bar and take the bomb out then of course you can just work your way over to tonberry once you defeat the bomb and the tonberry is just going to be another repeat of the fight that you did fight number two okay so for the fifth and last fight you're going to be casting haste on cloud immediately with Aerith. next you're going to keep cloud at the back side 
and try and do triple slash so try to keep to the backside i know that as you're fighting against it or fighting against the monster it will continue to turn and it's very hard to get to its backside but it will randomly target another player so once it does that make sure that you use triple slash and get those critical hits on the backside of it next if i had to point out any specific attack that the monster does it has to be bad breath so when you see bad breath being cast you'll actually see the words pop up above its head it'll say bad breath you need to run all the way away from it get as far away from it as possible don't even worry about trying to get some extra hits in there because if it casts bad breath on you it will actually turn you into a frog and then you'll be down for a little bit and it's just it's no bueno okay so stay the hell away from bad breath back all the way up once it's done continue to go back into battle and fight it you'll notice that if it casts it on you like specifically cloud since that's who you're going to be using during the fight and you back away from it it won't actually hit barrett or Aerith, so you should be good on that okay and then lastly for this fight what i recommend is just watching out for the poison puddles so you'll notice that it will spit out some poison and there will be poison puddles on the ground just watch out for these because if you're standing in them they will do a lot of damage over a couple of seconds even if let's say bad breath is cast and then you you're kind of stuck there and paralyzed and you're stuck there and paralyzed in a poison puddle you will die but the great thing about this fight is that in my opinion it's probably a hell of a lot easier than a behemoth fight so you should be good on that and get it on your first try hopefully all right guys so those are my tips for defeating the monsters of legend in the shinra combat simulator if you guys found this video don't forget to hit that like button i would very much appreciate that let's go for uh let's you know what let's go for 13 likes at least 13 likes on the video that'd be very much appreciated and if you're new to the channel or you just haven't done it yet hit that subscribe button we're on our way to 4,000 subscribers we're very very close and if you guys have any other video suggestions for final fantasy 7 remake or even video suggestions for an upcoming game let me know and then i'll go ahead and get those out now with that being said you guys stay safe stay quarantined and i will see you next time peace